27 pro Mwike lawmaker in tears. Continue to wonder why Mwike has refused to defect to APC despite asking them to amid suffering and hardship. Hello viewers and welcome to InfoGist TV. The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Nsun Mwike, has vowed to remain in the People's Democratic Party PDP. Mwike said he prefers to stay in the PDP and fight than defect to the All Progressive Congress APC. He spoke at a media palais to mark his one year in office as a federal capital territory minister. He also vowed to fight to correct the injustices within the party and ensure that the rights of members are protected. According to him, the minister stated that I will not leave PDP to even when the fight at home, River State, and at the national level gets tougher. I will fight to the last. I am not prepared to join the APC. I have said it and I want to repeat it again. The work I am doing here was handed over to me by the president and I am focused on achieving the tax before me. I will not fold my arms and allow the party I have suffered for over the years to continuous, continuously do injustice to members. I will not accept that. Mwike had ensured stiff opposition in the PDP from the party's former presidential candidate Atiku Abubaka and Governor Sim Fubara of River State. Amid the opposition, President Bola Metinibu had appointed Mike as the FCT minister. Earlier, political pundits had concluded that the defection of Yeso Mike, the minister of the Federal Capital Territory, to the ruling of Progressive Congress is now a matter of when, following the mass decamping of 27 River State lawmakers loyal to him, to the party, is as uncertainty now hangs around Governor Similayu Fubara of River State, with some observers saying that the defection of the 27 lawmakers from the People's Democratic Party to the APC is laying the groundwork for Fubara's ultimate impeachment. The defected lawmakers are those loyal to Mike, the former governor of River State, who played a key role in Fubara's emergence as governor, his godson. The two politicians, the two politicians fell apart a few months after Fubara was sworn in over alleged undue interference by Mwiki. The minister has not denied the allegations. The lawmakers who recently instigated a botched impeachment proceedings against Governor Fubara cited internal divisions within the PDP as a primary reason for their defection to the APC. Martins Amehule, their leader and the speaker, was seen amongst other 26 lawmakers out of the 32 in the house waving APC flags and chanting solidarity songs. The mass defection marks a significant, significant escalation in the political power struggle, raising questions about the stability of the Fubara administration and the future of the People's Democratic Party in River State. Many say that it is a sign that the lawmakers' war with Fubara has degenerated. Observers say this is the clearest indication that the FCT minister may be planning to defect Mwiki joined President Bola Metinibu's administration, which he worked for and supported to win the presidential pool last February, despite not publicly de denouncing his membership of the PDP. He fell out with the leadership of the PDP after controversially losing the presidential ticket to Atiku Abubakar and led four other governors to work against his party's presidential candidates. Mwiki had in the past weeks refuted rumors that he was planning to defect to the APC. Recently, after a meeting with the president, Bola Metinibu, with some other PDP chieftains, he told reporters that switching to the ruling party was not his plan. No, no, my, no, no, no plan. Nothing like that in the offing. We are Nigerians and we have come to give the president support. This is what we, is required of us. There is no big deal about that, Mickey had said. Political analysts said that the lawmakers could not defect to the APC without order from Mickey since all of them are loyal to him. They noted that it was obvious that the former River State Governor was bidding his time before joining the APC. What happened cannot happen without Mickey ordering the lawmakers to move to APC. The body language of Mickey does not show he is interested in PDP any longer. Maybe he is just bidding his time before moving. Mickey may not even defect to APC. If he defects, people may say he has an agenda. He can remain where he is and still be working for them. Let me top it. Muso, political analyst and scholar, predicted. Muso further noted that the Federal Capital Territory Minister may be daring the PDP, adding that the PDP should expect more from him. In River State, there has been disagreement among APC chieftains over Mwiki's purported move to join the party in the last few weeks. Recently, a chieftain of the APC in River State, Tony Okocha, pleaded with the former governor to dump the PDP and defect to APC for the overall interest of the state in Tinibu's administration. 
Okocha, who would also want President Bola Metinibu to route any appointment for the state through Miki, who has claimed worked hard to ensure that the president won the last elections in River State. But Augustine Okocha, who served as the state coordinator of Tinibu and Shetima's grassroots independence campaign council, said that it was an aberration for people to ask Miki to come and be the leader of the party in the state. There are divergent views among members of the PDP on the defection of reverse lawmakers and the future of Mwiki in the party. While many see the lawmakers' defection as a blessing in disguise, especially if Mwiki joins them in moving, others see the defection of the lawmakers and eventually Mwiki would be a painful pill to swallow because the FCT minister's commitment to the People's Democratic Party cannot be reviled. Yes, the lawmakers loyal to him could be an indication of Mwiki's next plan, but let us wait till he announces to the whole world by himself. We only hope that Governor Fubara will close ranks and make peace with all the stakeholders because it is dangerous to be a governor without having the cooperation of his lawmakers. The River State Minister for FCT, Mwiki as their leader, should find a way to rally everyone together again. Adelija Adelio, PDP member and political analyst, speaking on the defection of the River State lawmakers and the future of Mwiki in the PDP, Bode George, former deputy national chairman of the party, urged the FCT minister to be cautious with his political moves at, as it can backfire. This crisis heightened when a renowned human rights activist, Chief Femi Falana, insisted that lawmakers loyal to the immediate past governor of River State and the current Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, who defected to the APC in the wake of the political impasse involving him and Governor Similar Yufubara, have lost their seats. While Falana had late, late last year said the lawmakers will lose their seats for moving the, to the APC, the human rights lawyer has doubled down on his position. He stated this outrightly while undergoing an interview from Channel's television. In his words, in the case of Abba Abigunde, and the Labour Party, the Supreme Court, may declare that you cannot decamp and then remain a member of a legislative house in Nigeria unless you can show that there is a division in your party. Today, the PDP is one. A fresh crisis erupted in River State Assembly when some of the lawmakers elected Victor Okujumbo as the Speaker. Okujumbo, who represents the Boni constituency, was elected by the lawmakers to be loyal to Governor Fubara, Governor Similar Fubara, although the number of persons who picked him as a Speaker is unclear. Fanana has, however, said that the lawmakers need a quorum to elect a speaker again. We have to look at the constitution before the House can conduct proceedings. The House must form a quorum to conduct the businesses of the House, and a quorum in the constitution is defined, Fanana stated. But if you want to remove the governor by way of impeachment, again, you must have a third majority of the legislature. This is very clear. Although reliefs only came to the pro lawmakers, a reverse high court sitting in Port Harcourt, ruled that the 27 lawmakers who defected from the PD to the APC in the way of the political impasse in involving the reverse governor, similar Ifubara, and the FCT minister are still members of the People's Democratic Party PDP. The court in the decision struck out a suit filed by Wosa Amadi and three others seeking to declare the seats of the 27 lawmakers vacant following their defection to the All Progressive Congress in December. Justice Okobule Basam in the judgment held that Martins Amehuli and the 27 other lawmakers are still members of the PDP.